What's up you guys, Tess here. So for this makeup look, I just did a really bronzy, orangey, smoky eye, used a little bit of pink metallic on the lid. I thought that just made it a little bit different. Um, we have a little brown wing going on and of course a very bronze, flushed face, which I think is just timeless and so cute even though we're heading into fall. I'm hanging on to my bronze looks, so I hope you guys love this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's get into the video. Okay, so I am going to start off this look with clean hands using a little bit of primer. I love this one. It's from Laura Mercier. It's the Radiance Foundation Primer and it just gives you a really pretty glow and it's also pretty moisturizing. So my oily skin girls, this may not be the one for you. I like to shine like a disco ball and I like that glow. I really just cannot relate to like a matte look because I am so dry. Like I'm so jealous of those girls who can do a matte look and buy like Rihanna's <laughs> foundation because I just, I'm dry out here. And if you have oily skin, you basically age a lot better because your skin has natural oils in it. For me, I'm just constantly dousing myself in oil so that I can glow. Okay. I'm so obsessed with this primer. It's just Gorge and I used to forget about primer, but I was watching Desi Perkins doing her makeup and she was using this and I realized I have it so I gave it a go and I'm so glad I did. I am just wearing a little bit of one of my ride or die oils underneath my makeup. It is the Andalu Naturals 1000 Roses Moroccan Beauty Oil. I get this one at Whole Foods. I love the scent and it is very nourishing. I love rose hip. Okay, so we have our little primer on and I'm thinking we are going to do a little bit of a taupey crease with this MAC shade, it's called Wedge. It is such an OG for me. I used to use this in college and it's just a beautiful transition shade. And I'm going to be going in with this Tartlet Flirt palette by Tarte, obviously. This is a gorgeous palette. It has a little bit of a base color here, this really pretty red metallic shade, another orangey brown, which is just like my absolute favorite. And then you have another brown here and an even darker brown here, perfect for the outer V. And my favorite shade, which is this pink metallic shade called Passion. It is so fun for day or night. I love just putting a little bit of that on the center of the lid to kind of draw the light there. And I just love a pink eye. It's like my new obsession. I don't know if you guys have watched Jaclyn Hill's recent pink smoky eye tutorial, but it is to die for. Okay, I'm gonna start off just priming my eyelids. I'm gonna do eyes first and go in with my makeup second, which is something I've been trying to do more of lately so that I don't get a ton of fallout and ruin my face. I think your face just isn't as flawless when you do it first and I love doing the face first because I just like to get that like seamless coverage and feel better about myself before I go in with the rest but you know we can't always get what we want um okay so I am just priming my eyes with one of my favorites you can see my under eyes already a lot brighter this is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I use this in a lot of my tutorials. I haven't tried the Becca Under Eye Corrector. 
and I almost bought it today because I keep hearing amazing things about it and I know it's like a model best kept secret but I don't know I feel like this one's pretty good and it was like three or four dollars versus thirty five dollars so I have a lot more to go through so me just stick with this um I'm gonna put a little bit uh, this is like my ride or die concealer. A lot of the products I am going to show are like my ride or dies everyday kind of products that I use whether I'm just doing like a light no makeup makeup look or going all out. Tonight I think we're going all out. We are hitting the town and I just haven't sat down and filmed a makeup tutorial in forever. I feel like you guys have been really loving my SD content the most. That may be what you are on this channel for. And I am here for that. I'm here for you guys. But the reason I started YouTube was because... I was obsessed with makeup tutorials, vlogs, that kind of thing. So I hope you guys don't mind if I kind of sprinkle some of those in just because it, it's so fun for me and I love doing Q&As that are career focused, but I, I think that would be a little like over the top and I think you guys would get sick of me if that was all I did. So if you watch this video, I really appreciate you. I know I look so super like pale pale af but i just really like brightening this eye area i'm using my fingers to warm up the product and blend it into the skin sorry i'm kind of looking at this mirror i have but i promise we are going to bronze it up and not look like casper in a little bit okay so to start off this eye look, I always like lean forward and cut off my head. I'm going to go in with Wedge and I'm just going to use the fluffiest brush I have, which is this one by Real Techniques. It is, no, it's Eco Tools. I love Eco Tools. It's so soft, affordable. These are honestly my favorite brushes of life. And I'm just going back and forth in the crease. By the way, this is going to be a super like achievable look for you guys to do. I am an esthetician and I do do makeup like looks at work for clients. So I guess in a sense, I'm a makeup artist. But the looks we do at Credo are just like, you know, not on the same level as like a MAC or like a Bobbi Brown. Like most women that come in, come in for lessons, they're women who really don't have much experience with makeup and oftentimes they're in their 50s and they book like makeup lessons, which is so awesome. And they just have an interest in like, you know, learning the basics and learning like a very fresh, clean, easy look that they can do every day. Like I was actually doing this woman's makeup last week and I did a full on like orange crease, like couple metallic shades on the lid. And she, she liked it. She, she just like, Took a look in the mirror and she's like okay wow this is just not something i would do on myself i'm going to pick up the kids from school but um i don't know my manager actually told me that she looked really good and um she's like a tougher client and she'll let you know if she doesn't like it so i guess she didn't completely hate it but those are kind of like the looks I do, just easy, no makeup, makeup looks, or just like a little bit more than that. So I know you guys can all do this. Maybe you're better than me at makeup. I wouldn't be surprised, but I, I love makeup and 
I'm always trying to get better. Just for me, the secret with eyeshadow is, and this is a good tip for beginners, always lay down your transition shade. So something like a very pale brown or orange or pink, something that's gonna be on like the outside perimeter of the eye, if you will. And that way, when you lay more colors down, which I think is the best way to get a nice look, is just a layer product. That way, your transition shade is kind of like the... gives it more of a gradient effect. And that's why it's really nice to just keep layering colors. I think the more you do that, the more like blown out and multi-dimensional it looks. So I'm still just applying wedge. I like to bring it down under the lower lash line and I'm just doing windshield wiper motions back and forth. Sometimes I do little circles. If you have smaller eyes or like a monolid, maybe just stick with the windshield wiper motions cause the circles can kind of just bring it up too high. I have like huge eyelids, so <laughs> I guess I have a lot of room to play around, but I want, I need to get better at this. I try to keep the color like as close to hugging that crease as possible. And I'm going to do one of my new little tricks I got these on Amazon they're called shadow shields and they're amazing for like a blown out eye look you could also lay down powder right here I think that's a great trick Jaclyn Hill does that a lot but these are just kind of new and fun and I want to make use of them so don't mind me and this is also why I don't do the face first because It would mess up the concealer. <laughs> Taping my eye open. That's so funny. Okay, so we have laid down our transition. I'm just going to add one more layer. And I think these little shadow shields help give a really nice, like, cat eye effect. So really good tip for beginners. You could also use tape, but... I like these more and then my other tip is to always have like a clean brush on hand just so you can blend out any harsh lines that is the name of the game no harsh lines oh, okay so now that we have that I'm gonna go in with this shade called hotline and I'm going to put that on the first brush I used. I really think you don't need like a ton of brushes. But again, I'm laying my brush down at the outer V where I want the color to be the most pigmented. And I'm just slowly bringing that up, not going above the crease. And kind of buffing that in to that crease area going back and forth in the windshield wiper motions and keeping this under the transition shade and these shadows are super pigmented super beautiful wedge is not as pigmented and that's kind of why i like it for a transition shade it doesn't give you like a super um crazy pigment and honestly, I don't know if any of you guys use Wedge, but I feel like the formula has changed. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it's not as, yeah, pigmented as it used to be. But I still like it a lot. Comment down below what your guys' favorite transition shades are because I could use some new ones. So I'm just going back and forth, 
blending this out you just want to blend 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 and it kind of helps to angle your brush down again so you don't like bring out the eyeshadow too too high which i'm always guilty of these shadow shields are also really really great for kind of perfecting your cat eye that's why i bought them i am just not super proud of my cat eye game it could be a lot better so that's why i got these originally and i fell in love and again we go back with our clean brush and we just go slightly higher to blend that out you can wipe any off on your shadow shield and just make sure there's no product on this clean brush that you have I like how it looks okay I'm gonna go in next with playful just a little bit on the outer V we're just layering it up on the outer V to give that cat eye effect I'm going in next with snuggle it is the darkest shade in the palette sometimes I like to dip like a flat little angled brush in it and use it as liner it's super foolproof and just a nice way to get like a low-key cat eye sometimes i wet my brush with a little bit of setting spray or you could even use water And I'm just trying to keep this at the outer V, putting a little bit more on my brush, but not a lot. You can always add more. And just kind of hugging that crease and staying on the outer V. I'm kind of bringing into the, it into the crease once I lay down most of it and there's not much color left on the brush. So if you're looking for like a warm palette that you could use for every day or for like low-key nighttime looks, you don't have a really pigmented black in here, but if you just like like a low-key brown smoky eye, this is a gorgeous palette. And I love a good shimmer shade and I love that there's two of those. And with a new brush, because I feel like my clean one is dirty at this point. I'm gonna go in with a super fluffy Anastasia one and just again go on the outer perimeter making sure there's no harsh lines. Now for the fun part in my opinion. I kind of get like red on my chest when I film videos. You guys make me nervous but I love you. Um, okay so I am now going to take this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, Jaclyn Hill's favorite. I mean, duh, because she collabs with Morphe, but she says this is her favorite setting spray, so I obviously bought it, and I'm I'm not mad. Um, okay, so I'm going to take Passion, that pinky metallic shade, and just... It's actually better to, like, grab the product and then get your finger wet so you don't ruin the palette like I do and I'm just gonna tap this in I like doing it on my finger I think it just makes it a little bit more metallic and I like that like pow metallic I'm not I'm not playing here so keeping this pretty close to the lash line and just gently patting the center of the lid is kind of the goal. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and spread this out in just a sec. Oh my god, I love this. I'm living for a pink metallic eye it's just like almost like foil I don't know if it is picking up that much but on camera but I am living for this and I'm kind of trying to keep this towards the 
inner corner and center of the lid so we don't mess with that outer V that we spent so much time perfecting. I'm going to take this smaller little pencil brush from the same Eco Tools uh, brush I used before. It's called Smudge. And I'm just going to like gently lay this down on the lid. I would also love to know if you guys recreate this look where you're wearing it. If you do recreate it, take a picture and DM me. My Instagram is Teasals. I've had that name since like, I don't know, start of college when we all got Instagram. I don't think it's going away anytime soon. But I'm again just kind of pressing the pigment into the eyelid and I think it really does help if you wet your finger before you apply it. I'm going to go back in with Hotline, this color here. Kick off a little bit of the pigment and just kind of gently go over what we have created. Take in that clean Anastasia brush and just see it got a little too high right here and that's okay. I'm just kind of blending everything out. I'm going to call this video No Harsh Lines. Okay, excuse my like wet hair. I just got it cut. I never like I'm feeling myself after I get a haircut, but is, is anyone really? I just, like without fail, no matter how many times I just say I wanna trim, it's always, always too short, but that's okay. It's better for my hairs. I am using the Simple Wipes from CVS or whatever. They're just one of the few wipes that don't irritate my eye. I don't know how we all used those like Neutrogena ones back in the day. They're like the worst in my opinion. I also like from Credo, these ones called like Juicy Bamboo. They're vitamin packed um, wipes. Does anyone else like use it and put it back for later? It's probably not the most hygienic. Um, okay. So I think those shadow shields really helped from like just getting the eyeshadow everywhere, but you can always clean it up. I am going to have to go back in with concealer because that was wiped away. Um, and I'm again just blending out this little like wing is that what it's called this little area because i feel like when you use a wipe it definitely reinforces those harsh lines that we don't want i never use this foundation stick so tonight we're going for it i always use my it cosmetics cc cream and i am just gonna mist my face this is my obsession ride or die mist it's called the mega mist by biddy b y bibby b y b i and it is from credo it is the most crazy mist like a lot of people rave about the mario Badescu. Mm -mm. this is so much more hydrating it's literally a hyaluronic acid mist which you just cannot find everywhere so we're going for like full coverage, covering these cheeks. I don't know if that's too much foundation. I just never use this stick, but it is time because I don't want to waste it. Okay, we got our baby wings going on. I'm still not a pro at the wing, working on it. It's just like a little subtle vibe though. There's nothing sadder than like a floppy brow, you know? So let's just get those puppies up. I love that look. I think it's so, so chic. 
especially on the tail. I mean, it's important all over. And the front, just get, get them up. I love this Anastasia stuff because it is like glue. With a little bit of this voluminous lash primer by L'Oreal. And I lost my Marc Jacobs mascara. My Dior show is on the way. And I also bought a clean mascara called Lily Lilo. It's at my dad's. All I have is this Poise mascara from literally from my beauty kit from school. I'm going in with a little bit of the Chanel Soleil de Tan. It's my favorite bronzer. Really nice for fair and medium toned skins. And I like to do basically from temple to beginning of the cheekbone. I like to bronze my forehead, bringing it into the hairline and kind of connect it here. Do the jaw. Straighter it is, the straighter your nose looks, so don't be lazy here. And I like to bring it up into the brow. adding a little bit of this NARS Illuminator. This is the Orgasm color and it's just a really cute shimmery blush that I never use. Oh my god, this is actually so gorgeous. I really have never liked blush until recently and I just ordered the like Benetint like posy tint in the mini size because I felt like I had no cream blush but I need to just use what I have. This is freaking stunning oh my god I'm so happy that's adorable I'm gonna do just the tiniest amount on the nose and kind of pat this into the tops of the cheekbones right over where we put the bronzer I like to bring blush up somewhat high who did I learn that from it was Patrick Starr. His little video with Karushi, I think that's how you say her name, is so freaking cute. They turn her into Tiana from Disney, but I just fell in love with her. She has the cutest personality. That is done. For highlight, I'm going to use a little bit of the Hourglass Ambient Dim Light. This is really stunning. As a highlighter and all of our setting powder especially for dry skin types like myself it just kind of gives you that like flawless finish and makes your makeup last all day so I'm using a very light hand and just kind of blending out all of the makeup that I've done thus far with this powder I just am so in love with it. If you're looking for a good powder, highly recommend Hourglass's powders. They're very finely milled and good for even dry skin types. And I am the pickiest with powders. Take a little bit of my Hula Light bronzer and just really bronze up the high points because I am so pale i do not tan i don't believe in tanning anymore i used to go in tanning beds which is tragic and horrible and the biggest mistake of my life i did it in college when i was in a sorority trying to fit in and be tan when i did not have the same skin tone as a lot of girls i'm very very fair and i used to like my best friend hated when i went so i used to like not tell her and was so sneaky about it and it was just such a mistake so I hope none of you are still using tanning beds there's just no safe way to do it no matter if people tell you you're just getting like healthy color for a vacation there's no such thing as healthy color tan skin is damaged skin and there's so many good mousses that are way more effective than like laying out for weeks so there's just no reason to tan wear your SPF and your hats
Okay, that is it for this look. It's just a very bronzed face, very bronzed face, lots of blush, little pink metallic eye, and an orangey crease. I hope you guys liked it. Nothing crazy, but just wanted to show you a little fun, like date night out, night out kind of look I like to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world. Hope you recreate this look. And if you did, let me know. Love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.